Hi folks, I'm Al, and today I'll be showing you how to create a Starbound server so you can play multiplayer with your friends on a Mac. Now unfortunately the game has just reached open beta, but despite that it doesn't have a launcher for the Mac client. So when you actually start the game on Windows, you'll actually get a nice little pop-up which has two settings, launch the game so you can just play or create a server. Now that actually doesn't exist on the Mac client. and well, it causes a bit of hassle. How do you create a server and play with your friends and host a game? Or how do you connect to them? The connecting part is much easier, but creating it is much harder. Now, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that in a few steps. Now, the first things you need is the port forward. Now, if you don't know what port forwarding is, I'll put a link in the description directly to the port forward site. And it's not actually that hard, but if you already know how to do that, well, you can just skip ahead in the video. I'll put a little annotation there and you can go straight to how actually to create the server, which is actually not as hard as you think. Okay, so to port forward, there's a few things you need. The most important thing is you actually need the router model number. Now you can check that by just going to the router, the physical object, picking it up, looking at the bottom of it to see wherever the sticker is to see what model number you have. Then you're going to have to go to portforward.com. I'll put a link in the description, but as you can see, here's the site. And then you want to click under guides, port forwarding, which will bring you here, how to port forward your router. Now, if you have the name and make of it along with the model number, you can simply select it here. In my case, I have a Cisco router, so I'm going to click C, and I'm going to go to Cisco. And once you're here, you have to select your router, and you can see minus the EPC 3925. So I'll click that, and it'll bring me up with a handy little guide on how to port forward. Now as you can see it's going to bring up a list of games. Now this is exactly what you want. Unfortunately, Starbound hasn't been released yet so it's not there. But the closest thing to it is Terraria. So we're going to click T, go to Terraria, and then you're going to get the step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually forward it and what port you need. Now the port you actually need for Starbound is port 21025. That's 21025. I'll put that in the description for you so you can route it. Now, depending on your router, it will look slightly different. Now, the next thing you need to do is actually log into your router. And you do this using your internal IP address for the router inside a web browser. Now, if you're on a Mac, which this entire guide is about, you have to go to Systems Preferences, click Network, and there you have it. As you can see, you can see your IP address, that's your local one, and your internal one, you do need that. So please write it down and then you need your router IP address which will be right there. Now once you have that you actually need to take that and connect with it in your browser. Now to do that you simply open a new tab and type it in and hit enter and that should load you in into your browser directly. Now as you can see there you can see quite a bit of information but that doesn't concern you. It will look different to you depending on your browser. The next thing you need to do is type in your username and password to log in. Now, if you've never done this, it's probably still set to the default password. And portforwarding.com has a handy guide for all the default passwords for known routers. And hopefully yours is on there. I'll put a link in the description for you, but you can see it here at portforwarding.com slash default username and password. Now, getting the password is the exact same as getting the game set up for port forwarding. What you need is your router model name. So you simply go to whatever it is your model name is, and model specifically, and it'll give you your default username and password. Now, you simply log in. Now after you've logged in, remember it will look different, but there should hopefully be an applications and gaming tab, which if you click there, will bring you to a similar menu to this. Now, if you're having trouble with this, the port forwarding guide on portforwarding.com, right here, will actually show you how to do it for your specific router we shall do it step by step, which is exactly what you kind of need. So do, do check that out if you have any trouble with port forwarding, it makes it so much easier. Now, after you've logged in and you've selected the application and gaming section, you need to click port forwarding or port range forwarding. Now, it will look different depending on yours. Sometimes it actually has an application or process name that you can type in and name it. And since we've selected the Terraria one, you only need to actually type in one line. In my case, I actually can't name it Starbound, but I can do everything I need. Externally, that's what people use to connect to you. You want to select the start port, 
is 21025 and in port 21025. That's the port you need to play multiplayer Starbound. Now, for your IP address, you type in your internal IP address, which you did find in systems preferences, and I hope you wrote that down. Now, when it comes to protocol, you can select TCP or UDP. It's usually best to select both, and then click enable, because you want to enable port forwarding. Now, on the guide, it might show internal start port or end port, or it might not, depending on your router, but in my case, it has it, and I put in the same port for both of them. Afterwards, you simply click enable, scroll down, and click save settings and then you've done and finished your port forwarding now if you have any trouble do not hesitate to contact me i will try and help you as best as i can but do look through the port forwarding guide on portforwarding.com they have an amazing amount of resources and simply every router and most conceivable that you can buy is there so you're more than likely to find exactly what you need okay so you've set up port forwarding and hopefully you've done that successfully it's not too hard but now we actually want to run the Starbound server. But unfortunately, there is no launcher, so how do we get to it? Well, it's actually a lot easier than you imagine. The files are all there. First things first, you want to open Finder. Now you want to hold in your Alt or Options key, depending on your keyboard. You want to click Go, and then go to Library. Now, if you see, if I let go of Alt or Option, the library disappears. It's actually hidden. It's something Apple did, I don't approve of that, but it is there. Just hold in the options key, click library. Application support, Steam, you want to go to Steam apps, then you want to go to common, because it's a common game, and there it is, Starbound. Now, you'll see the Starbound app with a little penguin, right click, and click show package contents. That'll take you directly into the files for the game itself. Now click contents, Mac OS, and there you have it, Starbound Server. Now, all you need to do is double click it. And it'll open up a terminal window and it'll start running through it. Now, it'll have a lot of warning option, options and objects being run through there. But don't worry about that. Those are usually have to do with pricing seconds and everything like that for pricing of objects. It's not really that important. As you can see, it's generating dungeons and it's going to do a fair amount of that. Now, the best thing to do is simply leave it and let it go until it finishes entirely. Now what's really important is once the server is done setting up, you need to keep that terminal window open. If you close it, it's actually going to cancel and close the server, which means your friends can't play with you anymore. But in the meantime, this is the perfect time to actually find your external IP address. Now your external IP address is what the external world or your friends need to connect to you in your game server. Now there's a hand little site that I'll share it for you it's www.ipmonkey.com IP Monkey, it's actually simple, I'll put a link in the description for you so you can click it. Now the first thing that will pop up is your IP address that will show. Now what you'll notice is it's rather different compared to the internal one you saw in the system's preferences and networking. Because this is the IP address the outside world sees you with. Now this is what your friends need to connect to you. Now please write that down, it's really important, you have to give that to your specific friends so they can connect to you. You actually connect using your home address. Now your home address is 127.0.0.1. Okay, so we have our Starbound server up and running, and now let's connect to it internally. Now if you want to let your friends connect, remember you have to give them your external IP address. So let's run Starbound and show you how it works. Okay, so I've got it windowed here, just so I can show you it easier. You can see my little server there, and start around here. Now, we want to go to multiplayer, and we'll select my character, Al Valentine. And there you can see, there is my home address, 127.0.0.1. That is what you use to connect to yourself. Your external IP address is only what you give to your friends. That's what they use to connect you from an external location. That's what port forwarding is for. It opens those ports on your router so that people from outside can connect. Now, the first time you run your server, you might get a pop-up asking, do you want to allow incoming and outgoing communication? And of course, you want to. Now, I didn't set any password whatsoever. And at the moment, you can't really do that because we don't have a launcher to actually configure this properly. But if you're safe and secure and only give your external IP address to your friends directly and friends you trust and want to play with, that shouldn't be an issue at all. Now we simply click join server 
and as you can see, loaded straight in, there's my character on my ship. And you can see my little house is here. And remember, as long as your server window is open on the terminal, your server is running. But if you turn it off or close it, your server is gone. But that is also a nice security feature, which means if you're playing with friends and you want to make sure no one messes around on your planet or your world, simply play with your friends and only run the server when you want. Now, if you don't have the server, you can play in single player on the same world with the same character and you can keep on going, which means the next time you load the server, your friends are going to get an updated world. Now, I hope this was useful. Do check out the links in the bottom. Do send me any messages with any questions you might have. Hopefully it all goes really well for you and you get to enjoy Starbound with your friends on a Mac. Now if you've made it this far, there's no harm in subscribing. Check out my other videos, I've got gameplay and how-tos, and I'm Al, thanks for watching, and bye bye